Blackfoot 4th of July celebration continues to grow every year. And this year, they're tackling something no other show in southeastern Idaho has ever done. Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Miller joins us here in the studio. And Hannah, I know you spoke to the sponsors today. They're prepping, gearing up for something big, I guess. That's right, Todd. They're lighting the lake on fire. This year, they're launching fireworks off of floating barges from the middle of Jensen's Grove. Tonight, a dive team is assisting the Parks and Rec team as they're moving the docks from their current position into the middle of the lake. Here's exactly how Saturday's festivities are going down. This is going to be the biggest show ever in Bingham County. For the first time, the fireworks will have a multi-layer dimension. Large shell fireworks will be launched from this land area here. But the up-close and personal fireworks will be set off from three floating docks in the middle of the lake. So when he came to me with this pitch of lighting these fireworks off these boat docks, I thought, sure, why not? Let's, let's give it a shot. You know, we've never been done before. We have a great show in Idaho Falls. We have a good show in Pocatello. And right here in the middle of the region in Blackfoot, why another show? I believe Blackfoot is an amazing place. I believe Blackfoot has a lot to offer for raising families, a great place to recreate and have fun, and we want people to know that they can come to Blackfoot to play. The show will be fully synchronized to music, and audio will be broadcasted over River Country Radio throughout the entire park. But the party isn't just at night. This is an all-day event. Every year, the chamber gets calls about, are you going to have a parade for the 4th of July? This year, we can actually say yes. But this parade won't be the usual. We just really want to express what our roots are all about. So this is going to be about horses, about tractors, and then, of course, about classic cars. It's a growing event for a growing community. It's also a great place to raise a family and to do business. And we think that the chamber should be involved in anything that brings people into Blackfoot and keeps them here so that our businesses will thrive. There will also be 43 vendors there, mostly food. The gals from the chamber said it's basically a mini state fair. So if you're a fair lover like me, you'll want to be there. And be on the lookout. I'll be reporting there all day. In the studio, I'm Hannah Miller. And it will be synchronized with music. Yes. Terrific. That looks like a lot of fun. It will there. be. Okay. Hannah, thank you. Uh, by the way, the parade starts at 9 a.m. The route will start at Highway 91 down Airport Road to Jensen Grove. Now, all